welcome back to Why in the Morning Tuesday, Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at organic food products. This is a sort of business and how they give back to the society. So there's a quote by none other... Uh, uh, by none other than Robertson um, Mwilu saying that if you think the price of organic food is expensive, have you, pri have you priced cancer lately? Good thought there, right? So in studio I'm joined by Terry Gatho and she is the owner and founder of Ella Organics. Hey Terry. Hi. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. How are you? I am fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. So, Terry, uh, the whole story about Ella Organics, you guys do a lot, yes, yeah, I have to yeah, say, in the yeah, community. Yeah. Take us through what, is, uh, what Ella Organics is all about. Okay, so Ella Organics is a nutrition company. So we majorly deal with impacting educational knowledge in terms of nutrition. And we are 100% on the special needs community. So the children living with special needs, the parents and the caregivers. So, you know, to achieve any milestone, be it a stable child or a special needs child, your nutritional level has to be 100%, you know, because there's no way you can walk if your muscles are weak. So our major goal is to ensure that these children attain their... Uh, milestones mm -hmm. uh, through their nutritional health yeah all right i'm going to ask a very cliche question <laughs> right now <laughs> is the organic food expensive okay that is one very <laughs> common misconception mm -hmm. but organic food is not expensive let me give you an example of our products we usually have jam organic jam now, uh, a 300 ml of organic jam is, usually goes for 300, 300 bob. So when you compare that with uh, our competitors out there, it's quite pricey. But think of it like this. I'm not just buying the, the jar, I'm buying nutrition because our jam is purely uh, organic in terms of even preparation. We don't do preservatives, we don't do chemicals. It's just pure organic. So you're not just taking in jam, you're taking in fruits. If it's a, a grape jam, you're taking in the grapes, you're getting vitamins, you're getting every nut nutrient that you can get from a fruit, okay. you get it from there. Okay, now you're making it all interesting. Yeah. Let's dive into what sort of products do okay. L Organics have for us? Okay, so L Organics has a range of products. We do organic jam. We do organic yogurt. Mm -hmm. We also do um, organic tacos. You see, the idea is to make uh, common food exciting, but still very nutritious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also do, we, we buy organic uh, products from the farm and we resell them. Yeah. All right. Mm. When we speak about organic yogurt, mm -hmm. what does that entail? Okay, so organic yogurt is, first of all, our milk is gotten from organically fed cows. And um, the preparation is also organic. You see, you can either buy organic food you product. You guys are cute like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can either buy organic food that is from the, the farm or you can make it organically. Right. When I mean organically is um, you don't do preservatives, you don't do chemicals, you don't do additives, no food color, just the, the product itself. All right. Yeah. Going back to the germs, the products, mm -hmm. right? Let's speak about the lifespan, okay. uh, considering that there's no preservatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. take us through that. Okay, so um, we don't use uh, chemicalized preservatives. Let me give you an example for our jam. If we are using, if you're making uh, Zabib, it's, Zabib is our grape and um, strawberry jam. So we use lemon. Lemon juice is a very good uh, organic preservative. So of course, you know, it, the shelf life is not that long. Uh, Okay, so before you open it, you, you can have a, a shelf life of three months. After you've opened it, of course, you refrigerate it. But our jam is so nice, you will finish it in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when did this actually uh, start? Okay. The L Organics. So L Organics started in 2018, August. Um, yeah, I was just sitting in the house and... I was taking care of my, my daughter and I thought, you know, I need cash. So I just started, and I have a background in food nutrition and food science. 
So I thought, you know, why not to do something with my own hands? And I started making organic jam. Okay, so there are very many jams out there, but I wanted to have an unfair advantage, you okay. know? What's my unfair advantage is that my products are organic and they're very affordable. So yeah, it started like that. And then now, uh, through the years and challenges of the years, it, it directed to now from profit making to actually helping the community. Okay, we'll get to, to that point. Uh, uh, take us through the process of making, let's start with this, uh, your product, the jam. Okay. If, uh, if I want pineapple jam with a strawberry, mm -hmm. What is the process like? Where do you get your raw materials? How do you get to like uh, make the jams to the final product whereby you actually can them? Okay, so like I said, we get our products from uh, organically grown uh, farm products. Yes. So there's there's usually a market in uh, it's in Nairobi, and the the farmer the pro, the uh, people sell there the vendors are from organic, they are this do it from organic. So that's where we get our products. Okay. And now say you want um, strawberry jam. Yes. Okay, so strawberry jam, we get our strawberries. Of course, we go through the process of cleaning them and picking the, the ripe ones. And then now we, we start now the production process, which includes uh, boiling and then mashing, and then now adding the preservative. And then now we do a canning process. So our canning process uh, entails uh, boiling the, of course we put them in glass jars for longer shelf life and then now we boil them. So it's, it's proof tight, mm -hmm. okay? So there's no entry of any microorganisms. And I tell you, if you put it on the shelf for three months, when you open it, it will be still fresh. It will retain the color and everything and the nutrients are, oh my God, it's just amazing. All right. yeah. So how many productions do you do probably in weekly or monthly? Okay, so for organic products, you usually do by order. Remember, okay. it doesn't have a long shelf life. Very true. So when, whenever we get orders, we usually we, we just do by order. Yeah. Okay. And how credible do, do your clients feel when it comes to uh, just assuring them that uh, th this our product is actually a good product, it's uh, healthy, that uh, have you guys been certified? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. So um, one thing we ensure our clients are, you know, we go by the mantra that food is the best medicine. I mean, before you get to buying the medication, use food first. Mm -hmm. So when you're buying our products, you are a healthy person or you have a medical condition. Okay, you, whatever you're looking for that nutrient, let me give you an example like calcium or okay, our organic yogurt. You see, yogurt is very, is very beneficial to our body because for uh, for example our digestive system so when you come to me you have problems with your with your you have constipation and stuff i recommend you our yogurt so you're not just buying it to just drink it it is actually going to help you see it's like medicine yeah so when you think of it like that don't just eat food because you're just eating it you know to fill your stomach eat food knowing i'll get this nutrient and this nutrient and this nutrient from whatever i go and buy mm, yeah right. and uh someone is watching this conversation and they would like to get into a similar sort of business. Mm -hmm. uh, does one need a specific educational background? Mm -hmm. What skills should I go for? What is the process like for me to get it into a similar kind of a business? Okay, so for me, I have a background, like I said, I have a background in food science and yes. nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, also, one thing is, um, if you have a passion in whatever you set your mind to do, trust you me, you will do it because, I mean, YouTube is the best, best teacher so just have a passion and no just you're not just getting into the business for making money no what are you doing are you helping the community are you helping that one client who is going to come to you and say you know i want this product okay. why are you getting into that business for all right so take us through what is it's on the screen right now i i believe uh uh there are a couple of uh, the oranges uh, <laughs> in a, i think that's a cucumber right yeah, that's a cucumber and orange slices. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is uh, infused water. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people come to me and complain, you know, I don't like water. I just stay, it's just, uh, you know, and I have to drink it because, you know, it will help my body. Oh, yeah, and other, we have people who actually buy flavored yeah, water. Yeah, people who buy flavored water. So instead of going to the market and buy flavored water, take an orange slice, slice it up, a cucumber, slice it up and put it in the water. So you'll not be just be drinking kawaida water you'll be drinking water with vitamins you get yeah, yeah. so you're 
yeah, rather than eating an orange every day, you can just be sipping on the vitamins every day. Mm -hmm. And like cucumber, cucumber is really good. For, it has really it's good benefits for constipation. Mm -hmm. So again, we go back to whatever you put in your mouth, be keen and know what nutrients you're getting and how it's helping your body. Yeah, so that's just a simple way of, you know, drinking water. Drinking water. Yeah. All right. So uh, for someone who wants, like guys who always go to the shelves and they're looking for organic products, mm -hmm. what should they look out for? Okay, so you know, very many things are branded organic, yes. but they are not. So just look at the preservative section. Is it chemicalized? Let me give you an example. We go back to our jam. See, someone can add food color so that the strawberries pop out, mm -hmm. you know, and then you come to the shelf and then you see it's still organic, but it's not uh, red and you know, shiny. I tell you, go for the one that is not red and shiny. Not all glamorous. Not all gl glamorous. <laughs> go to the one that is not red and shiny. So there are just a few things you need to pick on, like the preservatives. What have what chemicals have been used? Are there any chemicals? Uh, um, what is fortified there? Because if you like get like unga, there's, there are some who are fortified with iron, calcium. And just be keen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, when you look at the market space, uh, it's so much uh, filled with the, the preservatives, chemicals, yeah. sort of uh, uh, products that we actually consume. How are, you, how, how are you ensuring, what measures are you putting in place to, to break into the market and get okay. also spaces on the shelves in the supermarkets? Okay. Um, let me give you an example with cancer. You see, you get chemo, it cures the cancer, uh, but it does a lot of damage to your body. So when you're going to buy that product, you will, of course, you'll get full, you'll, you'll, your tummy will get full, but what are the ingredients of that product and what are they doing to your body? So when you have that mind shift of, you know, I want fresh things that have not been chemicalized right from the farm. You know, we don't use fertilizers that are chemicalized. We just use, and it's so cheap because you can just use uh, cow manure, you see? And, you know, you'll get your organic products. So just be keen on uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to advocate for consumption of organic products uh, rather than chemicalized products because we know organic, we're getting 100% of the nutrients there. Right. And uh, for someone who you said it's by order, if I need probably a jam or a yogurt, yeah, I have to yeah. put in an order. Yeah. So far since you started, how is the business looking, looking back? Uh, the performance? The business is looking really well because especially now that we have incorporated other other guys in the in the in the business. So it's not being profit and it's started being, you know, helping the larger community. So I'm really liking the direction that my venture is going. And also I'm liking the testimonies that I get. You know, I used your product and I'm, I'm I have a mind shift of now food. I actually enjoy concerning food, consuming food. Yeah. So I love the direction that my business is taking. All right. Now let's connect your business now to the community and how it's helping uh, back uh, uh, people with special needs, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Connect us to what other uh, programs are involved in when it okay. comes to the community. Okay. So um, Ella Organics is, uh, I said, 100% for the special needs community. Uh, uh, let me a bit uh, define special needs. Special needs is your child with uh, different abilities. We try not to say disabilities because they're not disabled. They just have different abilities. So, um, and I, I, I am a parent of a child with uh, special needs. So I know I have first hand information and have first, fun, first hand experience okay. of that. So you get a, a mother, a, a parent or a caregiver who is really struggling. You know, their child hasn't achieved the milestone and they don't know where to start and they don't know what to do. You know, yeah, they're going through therapy, but um, remember, whatever uh, treatment you get, nutrition is number one. You see, like I said, food is the best medicine. Yes. So, you know, they come and they complain, my child is not being able to achieve any milestone, they can't hold their head. And you go back and you see their muscles are really weak. Maybe it's due to cerebral palsy, you know. Their muscles are really weak, so we incorporate nutrition with that. So, our company impacts knowledge to the special needs mothers on how to actually feed their children. Mm -hmm. You know, some things can be avoided, like rickets, you know, just vitamin D and the sun, calcium and the sun. So, you see? The information. so we pass the information to these parents. Number two, we, these parents, okay, I've given you the information, but you're like, you know, I don't have money to go and buy whatever you're telling me. And there's this mind, there's this mind shift, uh, this mindset of, you know, 
uh, nutritious food is expensive. But I tell you, it's your egg there, 10 shillings, it's mm -hmm. your skuma wiki there. So we try and give them that mind shift also. And we bring income generating activities to them. So let me give you an example. Our company, we give you the nutritional knowledge. And then also we ask you, okay, mommy, which, uh, which, what can you do? You know, I can come work in your company. I can come do the production and I pay you. When I pay you, you can go and buy whatever I'm telling you to do. You come and say, okay, don't work in your company. So what we've done, we've partnered with other companies. Uh, like there's this company of uh, cleaning services. We've partnered with them in the sense that 100% of the employees are from parents with children with disabilities, uh, with different abilities. You see, now you have income mm -hmm. and it, you've gotten all that from Ella Organics. So we support, impact, and educate. Right. I like the way that it's all circled up, like you thought everything through, uh, from just giving the informal skills to now actually uh, creating job opportunities yeah, yeah. for the parents or the caregivers. Mm. Another aspect that is very crucial, I believe, mm -hmm. is that as a mother or, or, or a parent, a caregiver of a child with special needs, um, I believe that there's a time whereby your mindset, your mental health is, it was a little bit unbalanced, yeah, right? traumatized yeah. experiences. Is there a sort of help when it comes to just uh, giving them help to change their mindset and look forward to a better future? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we do, we encourage the centers because we work with the special needs centers. It's easier to get to the parents through that. So we work with the centers and encourage them to form something we call focus groups. So when you have focus groups, you can come and share out your feelings. And you know, when I, you know, a problem half, uh, a problem is half solved when you share it out. And also, we've, we've also partnered with a psychologist. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the young entrepreneurs, you know, like so. You get. So we, we try and partner with uh, people who are in psychology and they just come and advise these women and it, it just encourage them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how we, we deal with their mental health also. Okay. So how is the business? How do you ensure that, uh, that the business stays afloat? Okay. So, um, you know, uh, our number one goal is first of all, educate these women on their nutritional health of their children. And number two is, you know, the jobs that we get. If they can come and work at Ella Organics, if they ca we can source them, outsource them out to other companies. At the end of the day, we get something, they get something. Because I train them, like I train them on cleaning services, and then when I outsource them to other companies, whatever they get, of course our company gets a, a little bit, a cut. Yeah, so that's how we keep our... our a company afloat right, and a couple of marketing channels that you guys are using okay uh, right now is you know I, I usually say the best marketing channel is word of mouth because if I come and tell you I tried El Organics Jam it's really nice mm -hmm. you would you know you'd want to try rather than you just advertising but we try and cover each and every platform that we get so we are on social media at El Organics uh, all platforms and also yeah word of mouth yeah so okay. that's, that's our, our platforms. All right, a couple of challenges that you faced as a company. Oh my God, the mindset of these people. Like there are so many misconceptions of on organic products. So we have to like counter that. And also to just change the mindset of these parents. You know, this is a parent who is struggling. You know, their husband has left them because of, you know, you have a special needs, special needs child. You don't have money. You have like other five children. There's medication. There's so much. There's so much these women go through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just coming and ensuring and telling them, you know, it's going to be okay. It's just, they, they look at you, especially I'm a young person. They look at me like, mm, sister, you, you don't know <laughs> you anything. Have no you have no experience. And that's why I said, I, I usually don't hide. I have a special needs child. So when I when I start with that, you kind of feel at home. Oh, we have pictures yeah. of giving back to the society. You as a Ella, Ella, Ella Organics, yeah. uh, giving back to the society and engaging in different uh, programs. So uh, do you guys also give talks? Uh, yeah, 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 educational, okay. educational yeah, talks. Yeah, yeah, educational talks. Okay, take us through that. Okay, so um, I usually visit the centers, different centers of people with special needs and yeah that's when I, when I say impacting knowledge that's what I do there okay. I impact knowledge to them you know we have a conversation you know the parent comes to me my, my, my child is struggling here and there and I impact their nutritional knowledge to them mm -hmm. so when you say talks that's that's what we do oh, wow. fantastic yeah. so let's look at uh, 
achievements because I'm so sure there are achievement stories. Looking back, I'm sure you're like, I'm not regretting to get into this particular uh, lane of what I'm doing currently. Okay. So uh, number one, my biggest achievement is um, that our company was able to now incorporate the community because, you know, very many companies are like, you know, it's just my money, my money, my money. But the fact that we were able to be to be to impact other people and even get other investors to come and you know join this journey that's my greatest achievement and also we have success stories of you know parents who come up and say you know i actually tried the method that you gave me and my my daughter or my son is you know improving and we also have other success stories of parents who come and say i actually went and tried that job and now i have income i can buy whatever you're telling me to buy and that's just that warms my heart. The sense of feeling, uh, yeah, yeah, fulfillment. Yes. Okay. So we're, we're, let's look at the vision of the company. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give you a specific time frame. So where does El Organics look like in a couple of years down the line? Um, let's do a year first. A year. <laughs> Fair enough. So uh, we have a couple of activities uh, we are looking to to venture into. Mm -hmm. uh, so like um, we want to reach uh, five. Uh, um, we want to work with five special needs centers first because you know we can have one special needs center has like eighty families. You get. So we don't want to say you know a hundred. No, we just want to work with five because I believe in baby steps. So, uh -huh. so, and then we impact them with nutritional knowledge. So if we can get like a hundred success stories of different uh, parents from different, from different centers, that would be awesome. And also we want to also grow our company, our organic products, reach out to many other farms and buy their products and actually have, you can actually order, you know, I want groceries from an organic company and mm -hmm. that would be awesome because there are very many farmers who their products just go to waste because they don't have that market mm, so yeah all right so how can people uh reach out to you on social media mm -hmm. uh if they want to keep this conversation going and uh, do you also have mentorship skills offering to the people uh mbao and takaku bench into similar business our company is a baby, so when I, I lie when I say I'll mentor anyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so actually, I'm, we are just being mentored right now. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, you can reach me on social media. I'm the co-founder, so mm -hmm. Terry Gathu mm -hmm. on every platform, LinkedIn, uh, every every social media platform. Mm -hmm. Also, our company Ella Organics uh, mm -hmm. on every platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's how you can reach us. All right. So thank you very much, Terry, for creating time to be with us and talking to us about matters pertaining organic food products. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. So guys, make sure you follow up with Terry uh, Gadu, uh, co-founder of Ella Organics, and uh, you'll be updated on matters pertaining the right organic food that you should have, and it's not expensive. Yes. Yeah, straight out. So at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my socials. So we'll be right back with much more on Why in the Morning.